Hello, and welcome to this film, which is all about an experiment which we're going to use to investigate the effect of concentration on the rate of a chemical reaction. And in this case, it's going to be the reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium, and we're going to try changing the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. So, there's quite a bit of equipment needed for this experiment. You're going to need um, a measuring cylinder um, of at least one size, but I'm going to be using a 25 mil one here. And you're going to need some one mole per litre hydrochloric acid, so one mole per litre is its concentration. You're going to need four centimetre pieces of magnesium ribbon. Now these might have been cut for you, or if not, you're going to need a, uh, a ruler and a pair of scissors and you can cut it yourself. You're going to need some distilled water. You're going to need an ice cream tub full of tap water. Well, not full of tap water, but about half full. You're going to need a boiling tube. That's one of these larger tubes here. And a small test tube. That's one of these narrower ones here. And finally, a delivery tube. That's this thing. Um, and that's going to be for getting the gas from one of these tubes to the other. OK, so I've uh, skipped the bit where um, I've filled the measuring cylinder with hydrochloric acid, because I guess you can do that. And I've put my four centimetre piece of magnesium into the boiling tube. That is the wider of the two tubes. Now, the acid is going to start reacting with the magnesium as soon as they come into contact. So we want to be ready to collect the gas that is going to form. Now, being ready means that you've got a small test tube that is full of water from this trough and it's standing upside down in there. Okay, So your trough does not need to be full of water but it needs to be deep enough that you can get your delivery tube under this tube so that the gas can collect inside it. Okay, You can stand it there if you want while you're getting other things ready. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to take this delivery tube And you're going to plug it into that tube. And when the gas starts forming, you're going to get the bubbles to go up into the other tube. So as I say, it's important to be ready with everything. So perhaps one person can pour the acid in and fit the delivery tube. So I'm just going to show you that happening now. So pour that in like so. We put the delivery tube in. Immediately, we should see bubbles coming out the other end of the tube. And we just hold our other tube over that stream of bubbles so that we collect them all. And the aim, or the, how we're measuring the rate here, is we're seeing how long it takes to completely fill this test tube with gas. Okay, so as soon as it's full, you can stop collecting, you can stop measuring. Okay. And as I said before, we're going to try and change the concentration of the acid. So, we need to repeat this experiment, and the second time that we do it, we're going to put 15 millilitres of acid into our measuring cylinder, but we're going to use the same volume every time, so we're going to top it up to 20 mils with our distilled water. Now, you should be able to get at least those two experiments done. It would be nice if you can get a third one done with 10 millilitres of acid and 10 millilitres of water. Okay, and in an investigation, you'd obviously want to have five data points. So, if you want, you can try five millilitres of acid with 15 millilitres of water, but don't know if you'll have time to do that. So, um, certainly, we're not going to collect all five data points, but you could aim to get about four here. As a minimum, we want to try and get two done so that we can see what happens to how fast this gas collects when we change the concentration of the acid. Okay, well, hopefully, that all makes sense as usual. Write yourself a method before you get started and ask your teacher if there's anything in there that you don't understand.